Hello guys, what is going on? It is Sam here and welcome back to another video, this time we have the mining guide on the coal trucks which are located just south of the Barbarian Outpost. The requirements for this are what you saw on the previous slide and of course level 35 mining to mine the coal in the first place. So first of all we'll be going through with you how to get there, then I'll be showing you what to do, then I'll be showing you how to bank it and then of course I'll just show you a few tips and tricks that I know of it. So first of all it's how to get there. So your first, first method of getting there is using your games necklace and teleporting yourself to the bar, Barbarian Outpost. Then from there you can run south all the way down past the agility course, then past the Mythal Dragon Dungeon, then past the Waterfall Quest beginning, and then you want to go all the way down the pathway, and then enter the nearest gate which is when you come off the hill, and then make your way to the Coal Rocks. The second method you can use is by teleporting to Camelot. This method requires 45 agility. Then running west and running west all along the coal tracks path past the bit past the bit where you will be collecting your coal. You want to run all the way along the path past McGrubber's Wood. And then when you find the end of it, you will find a log which requires 45 agility to get over. And then once you are over this log, you will be in near enough the same area as you were before all around the coal trucks and the I think there's probably 20 rocks once you are there do the obvious thing and you'll be just mining the coal you can mine whichever rocks you want it doesn't really matter there's no particular order to do them in so you want to simply just keep mining them and then until you have mined yourself an inventory and then once you do that you want to use your coal on the coal truck or you can investigate it to check how much is in it use your coal on it you deposit your coal and then you go back to mine another round of coal to check if there is any coal already in the truck just simply right click investigate and then it will tell you down here okay guys this is the important bit if you own a coal bag you want to mine four rounds of coal put them in the coal truck then mine another round put it in your coal bag and then mine another round in your inventory. If you do not own a coal bag, then simply just mine your five rounds of coal, put them in the coal bag, and then I will show you guys what to do next. Okay, so once you've mined your rounds, you want to then teleport to Camelot, use a Camelot tab if you are on Ancients or Lunars, and then run to the bank. If you have, I mean, if you have a coal bag, then run to the bank, bank your inventory, your two inventories of coal, that way you've got two extra one extra inventory, then head to the bit with the coal truck which is just west of the bank and then take out one inventory then take out another put it in your coal bag and just do this until it's empty if you did not have a coal bag then just take out the coal one by one and then run back to the bank but this way you will lose a bit more run experience which is why I highly recommend you do have a coal bag for this and also you only get five rounds instead of six so there you go then guys that's what you do to mine the coal after doing one hour of coal trucks I managed to mine 422 coal which resulted in a profit of 80k.6 23k xp okay so now I'll just quickly go through some tips and tricks of this guide tip number one while you're collecting your ore or at the end of it Use a ring of dueling, teleport to Kalan Wars, and go through the portal to recharge your run energy. This will be very good because then when you come back to Camelot to run back to the coal trucks, you'll have full run instead of like 10 or 20. So that means you can get more coal per hour and it will be more efficient. Tip number two, wear lots of weight reducing clothing if you can because that means you can run between the coal trucks and the way you collect the coal much more faster which means this way you can get more coal per hour and also you will not lose as much run, run energy. Tip number three, basically I've already said this but you need a coal bag, this I highly highly recommend you have a coal bag otherwise it does make this a bit less efficient but what the coal bag does it can store you uh, 27 pieces of coal in this case we only need 24 and that means you only have to go back to the coal to so the place where you collect your coal uh, just twice and you can also have one extra inventory so that means you get six inventories per run instead of just five. So there you go then guys, 
that is the end of the guide. I tried to make it as brief as I could because I don't like to go on for like as long as possible because I'm sure you guys just really want a nice brief guide explaining everything. I hope I did explain everything for you. But if I did not, then can you please let me know in the comments, or if you want to give me some constructive criticism, or some feedback, then you're more than welcome to. So next, I have a step-by-step -step guide for you, if you didn't understand the video, so hopefully that will help um, even more. And then of course, I have the XP rates coming, um, they probably will be actually before the step-by-step -step guide. But there you go, thank you very much for watching the video today guys, I hope it did help you. You can find all my other mining guides in the mining RuneScape Mining Guides playlist. But otherwise, I will see you in the next video.